Hello, today I'm going to show you how to replace the hinge on an integrated fridge. Um, so the fridge is behind here. This is the hinge. I've already changed it. Um, just to show you that they do break and things do go wrong. Um, now this hinge had, hadn't actually fallen off or anything, but the door wasn't closing properly. Um, used to open it and it would catch on the other door, which obviously will eventually wear the other door away cost you more money because you have to have a new couple of doors fitted. So once that hinge wears, could be the kids leaning on the door or just general wear and tear, the door starts dropping as you open it and then it will catch the other doors and cause damage. So I'm just going to show you quickly how, how you can change the, this hinge. Um, it's quite a standard looking hinge. Um, I bought mine on eBay. Um, so have a look at the hinge and then have a look on websites and, and buy a similar one, they, they, they are fairly standard but make sure they look the same um, so, so that's the hinge there um, that screws inside um, the top of the door like so inside and then that would screw to the outer door I'll just show you how that happens anyway so that's the bracket, we'll put that aside um, so I've already taken some screws out so I'll open this fridge up um, there's brackets screwed on all four corners so uh, you undo the, 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 the bracket screws on each corner so I'll just unscrew these top ones there's one here and a little Phillips screw Phillips screwdriver and then one here which I'll uh, just remove okay so once you've got the, the outer door off this is what you'll see the door off and then you'll see on the on the main frame you've got the brackets um, in each corner which obviously have already fitted where well, you've got on there and this is the one that we we've, we've replaced um, so what we do um, we, we'll open that and uh, we'll support the door you can use I've got some tins of dog food here but you can support the door with something whilst you're doing it rather than strain the hinge um, but what, what we need to do is simply take the door off um, so um, that's supported under the tin so um, if I unscrew these um, like so unscrew they're quite thick chunky screws on this one um, I'll unscrew those I'm sort of doing this in reverse order to what I've done it earlier um, but we're undo that like so Obviously the door's been supported by the tins, which uh, save us breaking anything more. Okay, so we'll un unscrew that one. Okay, there we go. We've got uh, all the screws undone. Pull off the door. And uh, put the door to one side. Now this is the bracket you're replacing, so um, there's a Phillips screw there, so we'd unscrew that one. I'll show you what you do. You'd unscrew that one there, and uh, there's, there's one underneath here which you'd unscrew. There's also, um, if I show you the bracket, um, there's the option of screwing it to a side unit. There's a, a hole in the bracket. So, what's happened here is we've put a screw through that into the cupboard on the side just to stop the fridge moving backwards and forwards. It's already secured on the right side. But it's also secure so you can put a screw in there if you have any problems with that you could always leave it but you should put a screw in there um, you should go to get a screwdriver in to do that so, so in this case we'd unscrew that and unscrew this one then we take the bracket off and simply replace it with the new bracket and then uh, put it all back together so um, to put it back together it's a, a simple case of, uh, of, of the reverse to what we've just done so we'll pull out the brackets we just sit that in and then, uh, and then we'll screw that in uh, which is uh, straightforward enough it always helps if you've got someone to give you a hand but uh, this is all solo so put a screw in there get that one going so screw down the bottom here like 
fire. I've still got the tins helping to support there. Okay, I'm not going to put all the screws in because I'm only showing you um, how to do it as quickly as I can. So, so there we go. You've got that on. Um, move the tins out of the way. Um, and then the next step would be just to put the door on. Um, it does help if you've got someone giving you a hand because uh, it's not that easy holding the door by yourself. Um, but if we hold the door up like so, I'll just stick a screw in there. So that screw's gone in there. Hold on. And then a screw over there. Help if you had a helping hand. Get um, okay, that one screwed in. Just to give you an idea, so, so you screwed that all back together. There's a uh, two screws on each corner, so you screw the bottoms in, and then you just close it, and uh, there you go. So uh, I hope that's helped you. Um, it's a very straight, straightforward job. Um, thank you for watching.